Hello! So today I'm going to take you on a quick tour around Chicago to five different locations that all have to do with Chicago labor history. Location number one, Daly Plaza. It's a pretty famous location that's categorized as public space, which means it's available for people and organizations to protest at. Uh, rallies can be booked through the city in advance for whatever activity they'd like to do for free. So this is a pretty ideal spot for a group to form a protest, which many protests have taken place because it isn't on private property. It's a well-known area and leaves plenty of room for the First Amendment. Location number two, the Daly Center. In the 1900s was Henrici's Restaurant. It was at this time that many restaurant employees at various establishments wanted to negotiate for fair workers' rights. Hundreds of restaurants responded to their demands by agreeing to a scale for hours and wages and for the right for the workers to unionize. Henrici's responded by firing all of their employees who were union members. Then on the 5th of February 1910, the newly fired employees began to protest peacefully at Henrici's restaurant. After 125 arrests were made at the scene, Henrici's was unfortunately successful in obtaining an injunction against the protesting rights of the workers. Were such a thing to happen now, it would be illegal under the National Labor Relations Act. Number three, another location where many union battles have taken place and more are sure to come is here at City Hall. One such battle was made by the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees Union, where they fought to persuade the city to support a state law giving public workers the right to bargain collectively. They would eventually succeed in 1983 when Harold Washington became mayor and would help pass a collective bargaining law. Number four, here we see the location of the Actors' Equity Association Union that represents more than 45,000 actors and stage members. Their mission, promote and foster live theater. The AEA negotiates wages, working conditions, provides health and pension plans, and many other benefits for its members. Number five, here at the Congress Hotel, union members have been protesting for the past 10 years. In 2003, the owners of the hotel offered an unfair employment contract, which included severe wage and benefit cuts after the original contract expired in December of 2002, and they weren't willing to bargain. So, on June 15th of 2003, the workers at the Congress Hotel went out on strike against this unfair offer. The workers continue to protest to this day as their picket line stands is not only a front to the situation, but is also a front for the larger service worker rights issues still present in Chicago's hotel and tourism business. So after traveling around the city and learning all these things, I've come to realize why the kinds of facts and issues, both past and present, are important. They affect everyone. People need to know their rights about where they can protest, how what happened at Henrici's would help to prevent unfair firings for union activity because of the National Labor Relations Act, how the fight sometimes needs to be taken to the city itself, that most workers can protest or unionize, and that these issues aren't just a thing of the past. They're still happening right now. We should all be allowed a living wage and fair working conditions in all jobs because that's what everyone deserves. And it's because of all these unions and people that are using their collective voices to fight for these things that we've been successful in taking steps towards achieving this goal.